Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to talk about graphing a system of linear inequalities to find a solution. Here's our question. Which of the following graphs represents the solution set of this system of inequalities? And we have two inequalities written here, and we have four graphs to pick from. So we want to begin by understanding that we're going to graph this ourselves before we can even attempt to go ahead and identify the solution. So we're going to begin by looking at our first equation and identifying the y-intercept, which is 3. So we're going to start at the origin, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and plot the y-intercept, the point where this line, boundary line, will cross the y-axis. Now we know our slope is 1 half, so we're going to rise 1 and run 2 to plot another point and draw our line. So when we connect our points and draw our line, we know that it's going to be a solid line because it is greater than or equal to. So because it can be equal to, any point on this boundary line is also a solution to the inequality. Since it's greater than, we're going to shade the region above because it's everything greater than that. Another check to know where to shade, whether above or below the line, is you check a point that is not on the line to see if it makes this inequality true. If the line is not on the origin or passing through the origin, I always use 0, 0 as my point to check. So when I plug in 0 for y and 0 for x, I get that y, 0, is greater than or equal to 3 because half times 0 is 0. So 0 greater than or equal to 3 is a false statement. So I know that no points on this side of the line are solutions that will make this inequality true, but everything above the line will. You could also pick a point above the line to check it, and we know that we have 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 5 is on the line. So when y is 5, half times 1 would be half plus 3. 5 is greater than or equal to 5. So it checks, and this is our boundary line with our solution area for the first inequality. Now let's graph the second inequality. We can see that our y-intercept is 5, so we're going to plot a point 5 on the y-axis and see that our slope here is negative 1. Remember that 1 is invisible, so our line is sloping downward, so we're going to go down 1, write one, remember one negative direction, and plot a point. We could keep going, and then we're going to connect our points with our line, which is going to be solid because it can be equal to, so every point on the boundary line is also a solution to this inequality. It's greater than as well, so we're going to shade the area above, and let's go ahead again and check our origin. When we plug in 0 for y and 0 for x, we get the inequality 0 is greater than or equal to 5 because negative 0 is just 0 and y is 0. We know that 0 is not greater than or equal to 5 and that there is no solution on this side of the boundary line and this is our solution area for the second inequality we graphed. So now we know that our solution set is the overlapping area and this is where both inequalities solutions intersect or overlap. So let's remove everything we did to graph our linear equations, our linear inequalities, and let's go identify our correct answer choice. And we can see that it matches answer choice A. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.